Welcome to our final exam review and course evaluation for CST 302. Uh, it's been a good uh, course for me and I have enjoyed the interaction uh, with each one of you as students. And so I want to take these uh, last few moments to uh, review our third exam as well as um, encourage you and ask you personally to to be a part of the course evaluation uh, for my benefit as well as for the benefit of CBU. So um, in our exam review, we'll go over um, terms that you need to make sure that you know. We will go over concepts that you need to make sure that you know. And then afterwards, I'll get out of this slide presentation and show you how to get right on to the uh, course evaluation. So uh, let's begin with looking at some specific terms. Uh, for the third exam, you'll need to be familiar with these terms as they're listed here. Uh, justification, regeneration, sanctification, and adoption. And uh, as with all the terms, you need to not only know their definition, but these specifically as they um, each interact with our overall uh, salvation, you need to be aware of their specific meanings as well as their um, implications. And I just realized my head is covering you seeing that on the screen. So let me move myself up a little bit there. So be familiar with justification, regeneration, sanctification, adoption, and um, know not only these terms, uh, specific meanings in regards to the salvation uh, that God uh, grants, but also their implications. and. Uh, obviously how some of them uh, play and in, in, interact in regards to each other. Um, continuing, there are other terms you need to be familiar with. Um, perseverance, again tied into our, sanct our salvation and sanctification. Um, faith, and the part that faith plays. Repentance and imputation. Again, let me emphasize not only uh, being familiar with the meanings and definitions of these terms, but also their implications and how they play out in regards to our um, overall salvation. You should find all these terms clearly spelled out um, from your reading in Horton as well as uh, from the previous uh, lecture videos uh, that you've seen. So again, uh, the second page is perseverance, faith, repentance, and imputation. And then uh, third, let me cover concepts. Let me make sure that you're aware of concepts that you need to know uh, in regards to the test. And that's the marks of a true church, hell, resurrection, specifically the resurrection of our bodies, but uh, obviously our salvation ties with the resurrection of Christ, but primarily resurrection of our bodies. Uh, the sacraments, the Lord's Supper, which is one of the sacraments, but there are differing views uh, that Horton covered in regards to that, as well as um, the different eschatological views that Horton covers. There's four main views uh, that Horton covers in regards to the millennial views of eschatology, and that is amillennialism, dispensational premillennialism, historical premillennialism and postmillennialism. Those are the ones that Horton covers in his textbook, so make sure that you're uh, familiar with those, and that will give you uh, uh, those definitions. And these uh, concepts will um, prepare you as well as I know how to uh, get you prepared in regards to the exam without giving you the exam in advance. So those are uh, review concepts, and um, make sure you've got those down. Remember, week eight, which is um, the last week of the course, week eight, the course week of study ends on Friday, not on Sunday. In all of our previous weeks, um, the week ended on Sunday, went from Monday to Sunday. On week eight, the course only goes from Monday through Friday. And so by the end of week eight, you need to have the uh, third exam done, um, all of your discussion boards. Um, obviously, week seven is the due date for your creed, your critical assignment. And um, 
Also, uh, I ask that if you were doing extra credit to have it done by the end of week six, um, but there's still opportunity if you'd like to do that. Uh, so that's the review for the exam. Let me get out of PowerPoint and go to uh, Blackboard. So here is the Blackboard. Let me widen the screen for you. Here's the home page of our Blackboard. CBU Online. Oops. Let's see if we can get it all here. Okay. Um, so here's the home page, and you'll see um, the menu on the left CST 302, Foundations of Christian Thought. If you'll open up your Blackboard, go to that menu, and then click right here where it says Student Resources. And that's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. And um, it is the California Baptist University um, evaluation. You can see here that um, you just use your CBU username or ID and enter your password. You can log in and um, you go right to it. I mentioned this in an earlier email. Your evaluations are confidential and um, will be received that way and uh, I won't uh, see any of that until three days after the grades are posted and as I mentioned in the email I mentioned earlier in this video uh, your evaluations will benefit CBU as well as me personally so I would appreciate you uh, taking the, uh, the time to do that so like I said you just go to the home page here you click on course evaluations and then it opens up to this. So uh, going backwards, just to make sure there's not any misunderstanding, uh, the Blackboard homepage, click down to Student Resources. When you click on Student Resources, the very top um, icon there is Course Evaluations. Click on that, and you get to uh, the page for uh, the student evaluations. And you log in, and you take the evaluation. Again, I would greatly appreciate it if you do that. Also, you have all my contact information. Um, let me also remind you of one more thing. I mentioned it earlier in this video. If we go back to the home page and go to the syllabus that you have, you will see, um, as I mentioned earlier, you'll see that the um, week eight, there's all my contact information. Feel free to contact me if you need anything. Um, prior to the course coming to an end and you can hang on to it if the course is over with and you want to get in touch with me feel free to do so um, also just let you know I will be at the uh, graduation the fall or winter um, the winter graduation coming up on December 17th um, I will be at the CBU campus for that graduation ceremony so you've seen my face plenty of times and uh, come and and point yourself out. I'd love to say hi to you and, and get to put um, your face with your name. But uh, if you scroll down, you will see in regards to the um, course schedule that on week seven, your critical assignment is due. That's your creed. And on week eight, this is what I want to highlight right here. On week eight, you take exam three and everything must be in by day five, which is Friday. Uh, so day five of week eight is the end of the course. And again, as it says on your um, uh, syllabus here, there will be um, no late work accepted after the course end date. So just so you're aware of that. So get your uh, creed in, get your... Uh, third exam done, do the evaluation and get it all over with uh, before Friday or by Friday of week eight. And I'd be grateful and you will get your grades as soon as possible uh, for this course. Um, let me, speaking of grades, also drop down here. Uh, for those of you who have done the extra credit work, you will see that the exams and the critical assignment um, make up the thousand points 
As I've mentioned numerous times, the discussion boards are the same as classroom participation if this was a, a traditional class. And then um, if you've done the extra credit, um, let's just say, for example, your percentage, not counting the extra credit, comes out to uh, 87, 88, 89%, um, depending on how well you've done with the extra credit. Uh, two or three final grade points could bump you up into the 90% or an A minus. So that's the way it's going to work out. And I'll let you know that after uh, after it's all said and done. So uh, again, any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Go over the exam review, get your critical assignment, uh, your personal creed completed. And uh, I've enjoyed the course. Look forward to learning more about ways that I can better facilitate learning um, when I get the results from your evaluations. I will pray for you as you finish up this course and um, trust God's blessings upon you. If by chance I don't see you, you don't hear from me again, um, I wish you a Merry Christmas and uh, trust that you'll have a glorious experience celebrating the birth of Christ. God bless you.